Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Spider-Man. The majority of the Sinister Six are accounted for, which just leaves our biggest players from the story, Martin Lee and Otto Octavius. Open it. these demons before I can follow Lee into the lab. Time to KO those snipers. So each sniper is guarded by a couple of goons. We'll deal with them. Uh, there's a topic that I've been meaning to talk about. Probably much should have much earlier than this. Uh, but here we are. Spider-Man should have entered public domain this year. It really should have. Um, prior to this year, we actually haven't had anything enter public domain for over two decades which is a symptom of just how badly our copyright laws are busted. It off. And they're busted because of the company that currently owns Spider-Man. Though they didn't own him back when they were putting their fingers in all of these pies. So it used to be that your IP, your intellectual property, let me try that again, your intellectual property uh, would be copyrighted for just 14 years. And you could opt to renew it once for an additional 14 years, so 28 maximum. Uh, in the early 1900s, those numbers were both doubled, uh, which means up to a 56-year maximum on copyrighted uh, IPs. In the 70s, Disney saw that their mascot, Miss, uh, Mickey Mouse, was going to be public domain soon and didn't want any part of that, even though a large part of Disney's foundation was, and still is, built upon adapting public domain works. Uh, so they, being an enormously wealthy and influential, uh, influential mega media corporation, lobbied Congress to pass the Copyright Act of 1976, uh, which extended the life of copyrighted works to 75 years, I believe, or until 50 years after the original creator died. Uh, and then they redoubled their public domain evasion efforts in the 90s and suddenly everything from 1923 to 1977 gained a 95 year copyright term guys are looking to team up tired of you harassing our agents spider-man so that is why spider-man isn't in the public domain yet despite the fact that he long since should have been uh, entered into it the fact that these laws even apply retroactively is insane. That just should not happen. Like, it, this it's doubly bad. It's terrible that it's a 95-year copyright term now. Which is increased... It, it's only increased further and further over time, but then... The fact that it applies retroactively is just ridiculous. Again, things that should have entered the public domain, things that were created in 1923, are only just now, this year, finally entering the public domain like they should have all along. It's an example of the way media companies just hoard other people's creative output. We should be on the they just team. sit on top of IPs for years and years at, the, at a time. Yeah. That's not what I thought was going to happen with that battle. I think it's just this one dude left. Nope, I see one more dot on the map. But hey, if you were ever wondering... You know, Spider-Man was created a really long time ago. I wonder why nobody's been Even able to do, with any, uh, do anything to with him inside. outside of Marvel. I heard your answer. I think the Hulk Why should have entered public so domain this year as well, heavy. actually. The Hulk and a bunch of other stuff. You harass my men, destroy my equipment, and cost my client millions. Give me one good reason I should not kill you right now. Listen, 
I don't like you, you don't like me. But Lee has your client inside this building right now, and he's gonna kill him if we don't do something. We could fight each other, or we could fight Lee, but not both. I mean, we're good. It will help me secure Norman. After that, I make no promises. Works for me. Lee's out of control. You secure Osborne. I will talk to them. Oh, oh. Friends. friends who are explicitly no PMC this fascists. I hate it. I mean, it was good enough to reason her down with just saying, like, hey, we can't waste time fighting each other. We both have other things that we want to do. You don't like me and I don't like you. They make them really buddy-buddy after this in a way that I don't love. I know about the accident. I know what happened to your parents. The accident? You sound as clinical as Osborne. This is really cool, though. My parents died because of me. Because of what Osborne did to me. You're more than your past. Don't let it control you. I tried so hard to make my parents proud. To honor their legacy. But to truly honor them, Osborne must see justice. I won't let you do this, Martin. Lee's pain. His anger. Fueling his power. Sample. No, no, Martin. I told you I'm sorry. It was an accident. I was trying to help. Yeah. You don't help people. You use them. Bring your parents back. Why do you insist on trying to save this piece of scum? I'm trying to save you, Martin. Don't let revenge win. Fight it! So this is just Lee Redux. Uh, giving you a, such an open environment in which to fight him is a really good choice, though. I'll never stop. So a lot of this fight is simply defensive. I think you can you can maybe move this along uh, with your typical tactic of you know dodge, punish a little bit. Blast him with your gadgets from afar, your web shooters, your impact, uh, your impact webs, your grenades, the electric ones, all that stuff. 
but I think mostly it's about playing defense and letting him tire out. Which I think is a little bit of a cool dimension given who it is we're fighting. Oh, forgot he could do that. That's his attack from the subway version of the fight. Uh, one of them. He has the vertical and the horizontal, so we have to keep track of that. And without that element of him tiring his himself out, flailing about in, in unbridled rage, this really wouldn't be a Mr. Negative fight, would it? It would just be really any other boss. So I think that tying it into his personality and who this character is, uh, is a good way to set this boss apart. Like I said, you can speed it all along a little bit, but you're going to be heavily reliant on this. This isn't you! This is exactly who I am! Plus, it says, it, it, it's, hmm. it's very true to who Spider-Man is, especially in this game. Uh, to not necessarily go full offense against Martin Lee. There's a little bit of offense, but it's not balanced towards offense. And I think that's... There's an emotional honesty. Because we're not trying to just beat ass. We are trying to save him, to snap him out of this. And letting him drain his powers by using them recklessly and constantly is the way to go about that. Oh, I just think it's a cool small element of an otherwise pretty normal, kind of boring fight. Just salvages what would otherwise be mundane. Fight it, Martin! You can walk away! No! Osborne must suffer! And then there's this. <laughs> so the ads are nothing, but the big demon that he manifests is real cool, and it adds to his moveset now. This environment's so nice, too. Gives the fight a slightly bigger and more urgent feel. Uh, and that's what I think it really needed. It's one new attack, and then he has two more. We will see one of them right here. Uh, this should be the 720, or it's more of a, like a 540 slash, because it does a full circle and then some. I don't think it goes all the way around twice, though. We'll then soon. one more. Sure this which boss am I thinking of? Where he slams down from um, I think it's I think I uh, Bloodborne, where he slams down and then scrapes the ground behind him. Is it Cleric Beast or Lawrence that does that? I think Ludwig has something like that too. It's also just a good excuse to swing around to avoid that instead of trying to jump it and then air dodge or something. My will is stronger than Any more. excuse to swing in the fight. It shows that he's getting desperate. And the more desperate he gets, the more he exhausts himself and his powers. So again, it's that sense of urgency that the fight needed to set itself apart from the last time you fight him. I think just as far as spectacle goes, it's cool too. So I like to mostly avoid the ads, because there's really no point in dealing with them. Ah! 
I know. But this is the wrong way, Mark. on your face. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. Ready for your final act? not worry about him right now. He needs a hospital. No. No hospital. Feast. I need to speak to your head doctor. There's no doctors here. Well, who's running this place? Me, mostly. Oh, okay. Well, it's been a while, but I'll do my best. I'll need masks, uh, gloves, All whatever right. you have to sterile. Thank you. You can thank me by not dying. Oh, my God. The 
you say she could go at any moment. Where are you going? I need to find Otto. He has the anti-serum. <laughs> Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. Go get him, Tiger. Spider-Man. Hello. Man, I gotta change this number. I must leave New York. Recent events... give me pause. Your rescue of Osborne, despite his hatred, it affected me. I must return home. Reflect on this life I choose. Dang. I think I'm actually gonna miss you and your death troopers. Unfortunately, my agents will stay. Though I question our work, they do not. And Osborne continues to pay. I am sorry. So close to being good news. Indeed. I will miss you and your bizarre witticism, Spider-Man. Until we meet again. What a strange, violent lady. So that's a positive development on the buddy-buddy with a fascist front. And as the message said, we are now at the point of no return. We are firmly in the endgame. The impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. to beg? Not gonna happen! <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. No! Oh! Tell them 
what you did. I... never... Everything you have is built on lies! LIES! You stole my company! My ideas! Now... The truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is... You were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me! The truth is... You could never accept that I'm better than you! You're a failure, Otto! And you always will be! <laughs> Otto, you've worked your whole life to help people. Please. You're fighting the wrong man. But I have it your way. So the Doc Ock fight. Oh god. Again, it's just another like unload your gadgets, web strike in away kind of fight but the spectacle makes it really cool and the emotional beat that it hits here is so strong and then there are all the little touches like the way that throughout the game ever since he got his arms his octopus arms he's used them to lift himself up physically literally above others and then the stakes here are just so high and so personal. Like, the stakes here are not the fate of the world, or even really the fate of the city. It's just the fate of someone, of two different people that Peter cares deeply, deeply about. Octavius himself and May. So this phase of the fight is cool too. You will probably have noticed a cut because I did mess something up pretty significantly and just wasted like three whole minutes trying to web him instead of just doing this. And then for a sec, we'll return to the ground phase. This should do the trick. Like you, you, you can see all the webbing tethering his uh, tentacles down, just hamstringing him progressively. That's fun too. Redirecting the debris. Let me save the city. Then we can do whatever you want. I already know what I want. Now get out of my way before I really hurt you. And our new suit, of course, gives us that resupply ability. Because this is a really gadget heavy fight. Oh, that's fun too! I don't know if that opened him up. Not yet. Plus, the way he moves is just really cool. Like, everything about this fight, I think it's great. Give me the anti serum, and I promise Osborne will face charges! Liar! Just like Osborne! Ooh, we actually could use that resupply, but we don't have it yet. Ah, it'll be fine. So we get one more phase of this. In which the floor becomes hot lava. And... If we time this right, we will not get struck by this infinite volley. <laughs> Oh. 
such a disappointment. Parker. You knew? I tried to warn you, Peter. But you didn't listen! You knew! I won't let you win! This means too much to me! Not more than it means to me! This is everything that I love about this fight right here. Also, Yuri Lowenthal kills it with his voice acting in this part. But here's, oh my god, everything about this part rocks so much. Both of them are injured, just scrapping at this point. It's not pretty anymore, but oh, the spectacle of this, the fact that we're fighting sideways in the building, looking down at the city. It's so cool. And here's the best part of this whole last phase of the fight. It's the language of the camera. What is the language of the camera indicating to you? What is it saying? Think of the man you were. That man is gone. You can't save me, Peter. Then I guess you'll have to save yourself. Look how tightly pulled in the camera is for this sequence. It's like nothing else in the entire game. And it it's not a coincidence that this is happening right after the partial face reveal and the reveal that Otto knew that it was Peter all along. The language is telling you that it's much more close and intimate, this struggle now. It's reinforcing the stakes. Oh, what a perfect part of the fight! You look tired, Parker. Not tired. Just hurt. What a good line, too. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't agree more! I saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me, just like all the others. Turn? Turn? I've worshipped you, your mind, your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty, a responsibility to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! Remember him physically rising above everyone. You're everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! 
Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh, I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And then what we do, all the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do.
So? Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but... Uh, I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't gonna be ready for about a week, so I'm gonna be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, yes, I mean, no, no, I don't I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. The biggest thing that I want to point out there is that when Ock said, if you want to change the world, you have to make the hardest decisions. It wasn't foreshadowing Peter letting the claw dig deeper into his chest during the fight so Peter could deal the finishing blow. It was May. Well, I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. Uh, I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. Hey, so Pete. Yeah. I uh kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like physically. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, you know, you're at that age where where your your body starts to change, and so you may be noticing some areas. No. For example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you, I show no, you. No, 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 no. It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. Man. Yuri Lowenthal kills this role so hard, especially during the big dramatic beats at the end. Um, so I'm really going to speed along the credits. They are no joke, like a half hour long, so you should still be hearing me. This is still commentary in line with the rest of the episode, but the credits I will just edit so they fly by. Uh, so after finishing this second playthrough, I think this is right up there with Arkham Asylum. Maybe a little worse, but it's still one of the best superhero games that's ever been made. Um, there is a tremendous amount of, of love and care that is just so apparent all throughout the game, both in the big picture and doubly, even triply so, in the details. Uh, there are elements of the writing that I've I've taken issue with, but it hits every emotional beat that it needs to. And it hits them all just really spectacularly. And the stuff that I criticized has all been thematic or subtext. Um, and I think it's it's all up for debate. Uh, there's been a, a very different take on some of the things I've criticized by a YouTuber who goes by Curio. I've recommended their videos before. But especially check out uh, one that is called... Um, Spider-Man, a hero's with bills to pay. Did I say withs? Spider-Man, a hero with bills to pay. Um, plus, it's really clear that they're gearing this up for a sequel, which I'm cautiously optimistic about. I don't want to see them do the Arkham Asylum to Arkham City or Night route, where they dramatically increase the scope and bloat it. But I, I wouldn't mind it actually being a little smaller and more focused, even, or just the scope staying the same size. Um... Looking forward to that. By the way, be sure to stick around after the credits, not just for the stinger, but 
there's something else that I cannot end this LP without showing you. So that should be coming up in a second. So close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son. Hey, Uncle Ben. Miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. I think it's finally time for a send-off. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, ring the bell. And for one last time for this LP, thank you all for watching. Take it easy and have a good one.